Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. The sun is finally trying to come out after all the rain we had today. We had a rainy Monday. Ooh, the temp is even going up. It is supposed to be 60 degrees and dry tomorrow. We hear the birds chirping. Wow, this is the prettiest it's looked all day, you guys. We had torrential downpours. You can see all the water on the ground. I had to go to the post office and smell off my niece's birthday gift and pray that it gets there by Thursday. But I am getting ready to share a small Dollar Tree haul with you guys. Well, it may not be small. Okay, it might be. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel. I am really, really happy to be free, free for the moment just to do me just for the moment I may not I sh probably shouldn't say that too loudly because I did have three loads of laundry to do for mom that I got to return to her tomorrow but hopefully after that it'll just me be me and I want to take another road trip <sighs> this is a long one you guys but let's go inside and check out some of the few things that I picked up today while I was out and about and the Dollar Tree haul that I had sitting here since the uh, day before yesterday. Okay, I'll be back guys. Okay, my beautiful sweets. Let's jump into this haul. I wanted to show you guys this because a few months ago I bought these mugs and I absolutely love the mugs, you guys. It's not a problem with the mugs. It was just the writing on the mug. I bought like four of these. Okay, if y'all remember me, we were all saying, all you need, love coffee. That's what this one says. And we were like, what are they trying to say here, right? I don't know if you guys can see this. All you need is love coffee. Okay, I hate this camera. This is what this one said. I bought four because I, got, I gave two to each of my sisters. Okay, don't y'all know they just restocked those... Um, shelves with the ones that they were supposed to say and I have a good mind of taking these back and getting the um, real ones because I did buy one just to show you guys this is what it was originally supposed to say it says all you need is love and coffee and it says love it says all you need is love and coffee that's what that one looks like so I don't know if you guys can see that or not let me see if I can get rid of some of these lights no so I was like, what? They did not do that. And I'm thinking about taking them back and exchanging them. But I can't take my sisters back because I already gave them to them. But this one is so funny. It just says, all, all you need, love, coffee. And I love my mugs, y'all. Don't get me wrong. But I did go back and just buy one so you guys could see it. Because that's what it was originally supposed to say. All you need is love and coffee. And yes, that is all I need. That's all I need. So I don't know about anybody else. But yeah. Okay, let's let's jump right into this. I also shopped for some more batteries. Sorry, y'all. Um, when I see them, I just grab them. Like I told y'all before when I hauled the, um, what was it, the Kodak ones. These are the E-Circuit alkaline batteries. And I got all triple A's because I noticed that most of the stuff that we get from the Dollar Tree, it really requires... Well, it requires both, but I just went ahead and got two more of the four packs because you don't see that too often. So these are the E-Circuit, okay, and they are the alkaline batteries, alkaline batteries. My bag is so heavy, I can barely lift it, but I keep filling it up with those batteries. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so we got, I was running, not running out, but I was getting low and I don't like to get low on my Cured alcohol prep pads. And I used to get these from Walmart and Food Line, and they would be so much more money. Let's see, we can get this to focus. They would be, they would cost so much more, and you can get a box at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I got two more of those while I was on the hunt. And then I needed some sandwich bags, and they had so many different varieties at, um, Dollar Tree, I really didn't know, 
I just kind of try to stick to the brand name. So I got this bonus one of Glad, where you get, it says bonus seven. You usually get 22 and you get 29 now. So I got these. I just need these for my little snacks. All of my little celery sticks and my carrots and all that other stuff. That's a whole nother video of how I prepped all that food for my salads and everything so I can have them readily available for me when I get hungry instead of me having to, you know. Sorry, I'm moving y'all a little bit. I like the, my background. Okay, so then I found these. These are not good for you. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> I found these Hartford House Vegetable Stew with Beef. And it's a net weight of a 14 ounce can. And yes, it is truly, truly loaded with sodium. But again, you're not eating this every day. You know, I would probably take this and mix it in with my homemade beef, beef stew when I ever get around to making it. Because I've been having a taste for my homemade beef stew either with potatoes or over mashed potatoes for so long and I just haven't had a chance to, to make it. But when I saw this in the Dollar Tree, I was like, oh, what's this we have here? What's this we have here? So, oh, why am I straining? <laughs> okay, so this expires December 5th, 2023 and that is what that looks like. It is Hartford vegetable stew with beef so let's just say beef stew okay and then i found i don't know if y'all remember me saying a while ago i might have just said this to beth but i told her i had a, another taste for some hearty white beans i love white beans i love pinto beans i love beans but now they have the campbell's kitchen classics hearty ham and bean soup and i've been saying i wanted to make some bean with ham soup for a while and I was like, oh my God, they have it here. I'm not even going to tell y'all what the sodium is. Because like we said, we've had this discussion. We don't need to. Anything like this, processed foods, are always going to be high in something that is not good for you. That's why it's important to just eat it in moderation. Okay? So then I found another one of these Red Lobster seasonings. And I have a full one in there. But I absolutely, absolutely love this seasoning, y'all, on my seafood. It just brings out the flavor of the shrimp and the scallops and anything seafood. Flounder, whatever you're eating. I put this on my salmon. This is so good. for a, And to get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree... Wow, that's fantabulous. So they restocked and I got I got me another one. And it's, of course the expiration date is very, usually far out. And my top is trying to come off. Let me see if there's even... An, uh, here we go again. Can't talk. Okay, it expires 12, 2025, y'all. So that's a great buy. If you see this at your Dollar Tree, I would grab it if you love flavorful seafood and I have not been seeing this Muller's real mayonnaise in my local Dollar Trees and I'm not really even sure where I found this at which Dollar Tree I found it at but when I see them y'all I keep telling you I'm gonna grab it cuz to get mayonnaise for one dollar is a fabulous fabulous price and yeah I just love them I want real mayonnaise I don't want that fake stuff that they um they also offer you at the Dollar Tree okay Let's try to reach some of this stuff. Okay, you guys. Just keep in mind, I bought all this stuff weeks ago, okay? Like I told y'all before, my hauls be sitting here, which aggravates me. I'm trying to catch up now. So when I go out and purchase stuff for a haul, that I will get the, get the haul up right then and there. But I feel like the Donna Summer song... Bad girl, bad girl, you're such a dirty bad girl. Beep, beep. Ooh. Beep, beep. <laughs> Wait until y'all see this stuff. I feel so bad because, first of all, I can't eat it. And second of all, I want it. I want it. <laughs> but I went out and I purchased these Mrs. Fields Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. These cookies are so good, y'all. Don't sleep on this. Everybody knows how Mrs. Phil's cookies taste. And I walk by those cookies all the time and ignore it. And I finally decided to get me some because I love them. And now I can't have them. 
So I will be, you get three individually wrapped cookies in here. And the expiration date is October 26, 2021. And I will be giving the oatmeal raisin ones to mom. Because she loves oatmeal raisin. And I got chocolate chip. And I will be giving these probably to my sister. Even though I'm mad at her again. But no, I'm not mad anymore. I'm good. But yeah, I'll give the chocolate chips to my sister. But I'm mad that I can't. Ooh, okay. That's just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. I bought some m and brownies, fudge brownies. And I know I've hauled these before, but I was just standing there at the checkout and couldn't help myself. And I'm like, I don't even think I tried them the first time I bought them. I believe I gave them away, but I was going to try them this time, and I'm pretty sure they're good. I love me some M&M's, any, really any kind. And, yeah, it's going to be given away. Fudge brownie M&M's. Da -da, da -da -da -da. No expiry. Oh, the expiration date on these is 7-20-21. July 20, 21. So I got the fudge brownies. Then I got me another one of these Reese's Big Cups with pretzels. Now, this one, I'm not sure it's going to be given away because y'all know how partial I am to my Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And these pretzels in here are the bomb, okay? So, we might have that as a cheat day. I don't know. Because I got so much stuff here that I could possibly use as a cheat day, but I digress. Lord, be with me. That medicine that my doctor has me on has been having me wide open, y'all. My stomach hurts so bad. It rattles around all the time. I haven't experienced the nausea, knock on wood, that she said could could happen. But, yeah, my stomach's just been tore up from the floor. But it could be because, you know, I have been cheating. I'm a diabetic, you know. That's what we do. I ate a Mr. Good Bar last night before I went to bed. So, yeah, didn't even make the haul. <laughs> but I saw these Easter M&Ms over in the Easter department. And like I said, that box is so pretty. Those pastel colors. And I was just going to empty this whole box into my little knicky knack bowl, which I still may do. And then I found the M&Ms peanut butter eggs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help me, Lord, please. <laughs> How am I supposed to be strong through this, y'all? How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Going to that Dollar Tree is not helping. It's not helping at all because I am totally, totally pulled into the, the, the what is it called? That hole, that black hole that you're trying to get out of? Yeah, I'm constantly pulled into that. And here we go again. I found this small package. So cute. Um, of Reese's milk chocolate peanut butter eggs. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm going to put these in my candy dish and gingerly and carefully, hopefully, just, you know, try to taste them. I shouldn't be eating any of this, which is probably why, why, why my stomach is upset because I'm on medicine. I'm being put on medicine that's supposed to be helping me and then I'm eating stuff like this, but I just couldn't help it. I might give that stuff away, y'all. I don't know. I'm on the fence. <laughs> and then I saw these caramel eggs, soft creamy caramel and rich chocolatey shell. How can I say no? Lord, please help me. <laughs> what I got to do is when I go down the, to the Dollar Tree, I have to avoid the candy aisle, but then I can't show you guys what they have. So, yeah, that's not going to work. All right, let's move right along. We're almost done with the food stuff. Um, I wanted the big bag of mashed potatoes that I got before, but they only had these little, um, I think that was Betty Crocker that I had. It was big. It was heavy, but they didn't have any more. All they had was these um, Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, and I love to keep um, mashed potatoes in here in my pantry at all times. And the expiration date is kind of rubbed off, but I can see it says, um, hmm, I think this is May 9th, 2021, but it doesn't matter. You know, stuff like this is so full of preservatives that it'll outlive us. So I got one bag of those. I didn't really want to 
pay a dollar for this small bag. But it says it makes eight servings. It's gluten free. And it's an A brand. Hungry Jack. So I got one of those. And then y'all saw me. I hauled this hand soap a few um, hauls ago. This is a new liquid hand soap from Dial. And it's the Tropical Breeze. I got that one. And then they just came out with the new hand soap, aloe vera and jasmine, limited limited edition, gently cleanse the skin. Yeah, so we got this one. And I'm just already ready to pour these into my little lemon and mandarin and watermelon containers that I have. Because even though they still have those soaps in um, my store, I haven't repurchased any more of them. But I like those because they're antibacteria. These are just regular hand soaps. They smell good. And I have, y'all know, I have so much soap, hand soap, dish detergent, you name it. This just smells kind of like lotion. Well, we'll see how that works. But yeah, anyway, moving right along. I saw these containers. I, hadn't, I don't remember seeing these. Maybe I have, maybe I don't. I don't know. These are the three compartment meal prep con, um, containers with lids. And you get two of them in here. And it is a green briar product. And they look like this. And they have the different compartments. The big one. And they're this size. So I was like, this would be perfect when I'm taking my mom over some food and I don't want to mix them even though that's never been a problem for her or I y'all know we greedy <laughs> I'll speak for myself but yeah I thought that was pretty good for a dollar look at the size of them and I don't remember ever seeing them. I've seen the smaller ones I saw them today but I've never seen the big ones so I said let me try these because even though I didn't really need them I have plenty of containers we just bought those bowls but I just thought this would be really, really good to tote her um, her food over when I take her some food if I'm cooking something. And she always nicely washes everything and gives it back to me so I can refill it, <laughs> as she would say while she laughs. So that's what these look like. I thought they were pretty, pretty good. Y'all know I got plenty of meal prep containers in there. I don't even use them anymore. I should, but I don't. Not at the moment. I would like to get back to that. That was really nice when I did my meal prepping. And then I purchased four of these Bible activity books, you guys. This is so phenomenal because, excuse me, let me go off. I got to sneeze. Okay, this is so phenomenal, you guys. I found these at my local Dollar Tree. They're so cute. They're called Bible activity books. And I first only found a few of them. And it says each book says it's over 80 stickers. And you see Jesus. They have them in the Jesus. I got three. I took the whole thing. Because I bought four. And then I went back the next day to get some more. Because I thought these were absolutely, absolutely perfect. To put in the kids' bags at Christmas time, with along with their toys and their candies, I just couldn't resist this, you guys. I mean, they've got books of stickers. They tell all the story. They have this book belongs to this person, okay? And then they have Jesus feeds five thousand loads, loaves and fishes, and they have the words where you can. Put them in the right, you know, category. What do they call that? Jesus had the disciples gather the leftover food. They bought Jesus 12 baskets full. After seeing this miracle, the, the people believed. It's called it's unscramble each word. And then you place a reward sticker right down here. Or they can re, um, do it. But I'm going to donate these to my mother's church. This one is Jesus heals a man who can't walk. And then you have the maze here. I just thought these books were so darling for a dollar. And then you see all the stickers. So I got three of the Jesus ones, which I would have liked to have had more. And if I go on my Dollar Tree um, extravaganza tomorrow with the weather being so nice. Yeah, I'm hoping to find more of these because I really would like to send them out. So I got three Jesus. Then I found three Davids. And they had all men. They didn't have any of the women, which I was a little bummed. But 
If I go to other stores, they might have it, but from what I'm seeing on the back, yeah, it's no men. They say collect them all, Noah, Moses, Jonah, David, Joseph, and Jesus. So that's what it says on the back. And it says collect them all. So I got three Davids, one, two, three Moses. And I went to my local, both my local Dollar Trees trying to get 25 of these. So I got three, six, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, ooh, 16, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, 22. So I'm a few books short, but I hope to find some at other stores when I go you know, Dollar Tree hopping tomorrow. So I got three Noahs. These are so cute, y'all. Look at that. Noah building his ark. These are so darling for your children, for the kids in your church. Noah's building his ark. It's just darling. They got these. You can see the front of the ark. Then you can see all the stickers. Let me see if I can open that up. This is what the stickers look like. I mean, how darling. And they put these out for Easter. And I know that because they do have regular Bible um, activity books in the like teaching or what is it? Learning te teaching tree or whatever. But they're not like this. Okay. So then I got four Josephs. Everybody know Joseph. Yeah. Could have killed his brothers, but he didn't. That's a boy. Okay. And then we got Jonah. Everybody knows Jonah the whale. <laughs> so cute. I got four Jonas. You can see the whale and the boat. And so cute. Over each of these has 80 over 80 stickers and they all say when you open the book up this book belongs to so darling. Okay, so then I went over to the smaller Dollar Tree hoping to find the rest of the books that I needed, but they were out there or they didn't have them or they didn't put them out yet. I don't know. They should have been with the Easter stuff, but every store puts their stuff in different places, so you never know where to look, so you got to look everywhere. Needless to say, I did not find any more of those, but I did find these in the teaching uh, tree area. And these are Bible Tracing Fun with stickers. And this one is a Bible Maze and Puzzles with stickers. And these only have, they have over 75 stickers. So I was going to run back and get a few more of these just to make my 25. But I decided to wait because I'm going to be going, like I said, hopefully, prayerfully, if God's will, I'm going to be going on a Dollar Tree run tomorrow just to get out of the house, hang out. Get some fresh air. It's supposed to be 60 degrees, all sunny. It's supposed to rain again on, on Friday. So, yeah, I want to take the time to just get out and get some fresh air and open up my car, you know, open up my vehicle. I already know how she's run because I already went. But, yeah, so I got this one, the Bible Tracing. And this one on the back says Collect Them All. And they have the Bible Tracing, Bible Mazes. Bible 123s and Bible a ABCs. And I actually saw all those in the smaller Dollar Tree. So hopefully, if I can't find the rest of those, I can go back over there and get these. I didn't even look in the teaching tree in my local Dollar Tree yet. I didn't even think. Y'all know how. But I'm a banana head. Banana boat. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, but, oh, sorry. Okay, this one is the Bible mazes. Those are the two I, tr I picked. Bible tracing with stickers and Bible mazings, mazes and puzzles with stickers. So this one looks like this. And again, just darling. Collect all four. And then you open this up. You got the stickers. Almost the same. But if you look at these books, this one is smaller. This one is much bigger. And so, yeah. So this one sits almost inside this one, but who cares? So that is what I purchased from the Dollar Tree so far. 
Y'all are not going to believe. I'm trying to muster up the time and energy to do another declutter my Dollar Tree closet. Because, yeah, when life gets out of control, so does your closets, your pantries, and whatever else. I've been doing really, really well with my refrigerator and my food pantry. But my Dollar Tree closet has gone to hell in a handbasket. Uh -huh. So we're going to have fun because I'm going to bring you guys along with me to see how I declare. But I got to go on a road trip so I can find the baskets that I'm looking for. But hold on, I'll be right back.